Hello and welcome to the Reference Point Podcast. I am your host, Paulo, and today I am joined by my above average co-host, Anthony. What's up? As well as two incredibly special guests, B. Rosie and Uncle Lou. So say hello, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. I'm always excited to have you guys on. It's guys. You guys are our fourth and fifth members, although technically in this case you'd be the third and fourth. <laughs> So today we've got a very special episode. We're going to, you know, mix it up a bit. And the topic is going to be determined by Rose and Uncle Lou's Christmas sweaters. So we're talking about X-Men and Squid Game. Yes, sir. Woo! As well as something I have for both of you guys. Oh? Hmm? What is this? Was it expensive? (laughs) Gifts, 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 gifts. Ooh, very exciting. All right. So, uh, let's get opening. Oh, a white box. I've always wanted one. Me too. (laughs) Oh my God. It's a D&D sweater. Isn't that amazing? Ooh. What'd you get, Anthony? Unboxing it live. I just want to say before I, unra- I unwrap this, very nice wrapping paper and a very nice tape job wrapping this up. Shout out to them, whoever did it. If it was actually Uncle Lou or someone else. Oh, I don't, won't take credit. Don't discredit, <laughs> don't discredit him. That's all him. Amazing wrapping. Also, I love Anthony's wrapping. Uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, amazing. Good. I was trying to think of the perfect gift for you guys. Okay. I love your guys' show. Ah, oh, you're so uh, sweet. I've been ordering shirts from and sweaters from these these guys for about ten years now. Ah, oh. Batman. Yeah, that's oh, my guy, that's Batman. Sick. They cover all of, like officially licensed. So that's like classic colors too. That's so like cool. TV shows nice. and movies and comic books and it's right okay. up your guys' alley. Nice. What's their name? Uh, Merchoid. Merchoid, okay. I'll definitely be checking them out. I, I love this. The D&D design is awesome. I love the dragon. And there's even little D20s. I love the Batman logo they chose. Clearly from the Batman Rebirth series because he has the gold outline around the bat. I love it. I dig it. So I guess it's time for us to change, right, Anthony? You know it. All right. Well, thank you, Uncle Lou, for getting us these sweaters. I absolutely adore it. Nice and cozy, too. It's, ooh. I know. I, I feel, feel fresh as hell in it, this. Honestly, it's, it's snug. That's they what you need s- from a nice Christmas sweater. They are snug. They're very snug. You know, speaking of snug, something that, you know, really brings out the comfort for the holidays is going back to watching our comfort movies, you know? And I just want to talk about, like, our top three favorite, like, Christmas movies to watch. Like, I'm going to just start right off the bat with Jingle All the Way classic very good muppets christmas carol which by the way on disney plus they released an extended version recently and by recently probably like last year okay and peanuts christmas i peanuts always gets me emotionally i just i love seeing charlie brown and the gang you know i know every time he can't kick uh, football it just makes me so sad you know like, <laughs> it why does, does. He keep moving it why do you keep doing that what did he do to it's you like, lucy why are you such a bitch <laughs> for real man so, if I had to say my top three Christmas movies, or at least movies to watch around Christmas, number one, A Harold and Kumar Christmas. Yeah. Classic. You, you guys seen it? Yeah. That's with the, the clay penis, right? Yes. He pulls out his claymation favorite? penis at a point. It's great. <laughs> great because you see a penis? Of course. <laughs> my second favorite would be, this, this is like a, an easy, this is like, I feel like everyone here might say this, but I'll, I'll say it first. Die Hard. You know? Yeah. That's like Who doesn't my love mom, Die Hard? That's my mom's favorite. For sure. Nice. Mom's a smart woman, I can say that much. <laughs> a woman Die of Hard. culture. Yeah. Die Hard's incredible. And last one, for me, is not a Christmas movie, but a movie I got for the first time around Christmas, 
and watched it for the first time around Christmas. So now it's a Christmas movie for me. Okay. And that is the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is not one movie but three. So I'm kind of cheating a bit. So, <laughs> so but yeah, uh, Lord of the Rings. Top five That's for you fair. then. That's you know fair. It. <laughs> Rose? Like, yeah, my top three is like Harry Potter for sure. Ugh. I right. just it started so much, okay? You know what? Like shh. fair enough. I just I have my own uh, you know, gripes with Harry Potter, but they've got amazing theme park rides. I will give them that. I haven't I haven't rode any of the rides, but I've watched all of the movies and like nice. I'll watch them all again. And I, yeah, no. Christmas definitely a Christmas movie, the first one. Mm -hmm. Um The Grinch. Oh, that's a good one. The animated, sure uh, the new, old animated one or the new one? No, 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 no. Jim Carrey, definitely. Jim Carrey yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't even. Ron that. Howard cooked with that movie. That's a great film. Hundred percent. That's no, a yeah, good no, choice. No, no. That that that's definitely like probably maybe number one actually. Place okay. that number one. That's a f good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I love that movie because I remember how it would just show up on every VHS tape, oh my like God. a commercial of it for the early two thousands. Yeah. Like every time it would start, you get the Grinch's Christmas. You get like a bunch of other movies, and then you'd get your movie on the yeah, tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would always be the Cindy Lou. You're the the the. the yes. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, that was so good. No, I love that. Um, and number three, that's a tough one because there's so many good Christmas movies, but like Christmas with the Cranks. Yo. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah, a yeah. solid pick too. I it's like the original it. one too. Not everyone picks that one, so I, I like I the chaos. I like the chaos that it shows because like. That's really what Christmas is. It's like every family actually goes through a bit of chaos if they're trying to throw Christmas. It's you know, what like Christmas is all about. The family argues ninety percent of the day, and then the fa rest of the family shows up, and it's like, oh hey, how you doing? <laughs> we had the perfect day. What arguing? No arguing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. It was great. <laughs> like we were just down each other's throats <laughs> five minutes ago, screaming at each other. But yeah, no, Merry Christmas. Exactly. Lovely picks. What about you, Uncle Lou? This is not really a Christmas movie. It's still a holiday movie. You know, okay. Eight, eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> nice. Is that the Adam Sandler yeah. classic? I watched that a few Ooh. years ago, and I didn't expect to get as emotional as I did. That is such a sweet and endearing movie. Okay. Just okay. The animators from the Iron Giant animated an Adam Sandler cartoon. Mm -hmm. Like, how bad could the movie be? It's impossible. It's a bad film. It's mm -hmm. an incredible movie. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in so long. You gotta give Hanukkah some watch. love, man. We do. 100%. We do. Fair. And Gremlins, of course, Spielberg classic. Amazing. It's not that Christmassy, but still at Christmas time. The real <laughs> I question, count it. The real question is, do you like Gremlins 2? The new batch. Oh, oh yeah. I, the uh, new batch. I don't think I ever watched Gremlins 2. It's, it's, it's kind of not very good, but I kind of love it. So <laughs> I loved it more as a kid, and I love the first now as an adult, but it it's a classic. I wish they made a third one before... Yeah, we got too old. Now it's too late. It's too yeah. little too late. <laughs> I don't want to see CGI gremlins. Yeah, that would be that would be so lame, because they're like these f crazy little practical puppets. Yeah, I like the cute little one Gizmo. Oh my god. And, and uh, the third, I it's like it's tough because I really like Surviving Christmas, but it's like mm -hmm. a horrible Ben Affleck but, uh, movie. We don't but, disrespect Ben Affleck on the show. I would have to <laughs> give the third place to Elf because it's just a classic. Oh and, yeah. It's one of those that comes on and you just gotta sit there and, and watch it. Yeah. Well, nice, that's nice. Probably, Sing the yeah. songs with Zoe. But is it Zoe? Yeah, yeah Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. I actually love Elf. It's like, that's a movie I, I honestly could say I do watch every year. Have it's you, always on TV. You ever mm -hmm. put ma maple syrup on your spaghetti? Oh. <laughs> no. You never tried I'm it? I'm not that Canadian. I did it. Bro, we're, we're Italians. Italian? That, that, that's sacrilege <laughs> for that, us. That's a bit of a sin. They then you're not a real us. Elf fan. Yeah, I, I'll say I'm not for that reason. You gotta <laughs> try it. You gotta try it. You can't I mean, knock we do it that, and it's ever it. f found out. <laughs> Next time we fly to Italy, they're bolting us to a cross. Okay, like, so it's done. we're gonna do like an A and E style tasting where we blur your faces and and, <laughs> and change your voice, and you guys are gonna taste it and give your reviews. <laughs> Wearing these sweaters, <laughs> well, <laughs> you're just gonna hear me saying like the same shit I always say. So they'll be like, "Oh yeah, it's clearly him." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have pretty distinct shapes, so I don't <laughs> 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 we have to blur out our bodies too, or. <laughs> Just the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a really great list. Yeah. Not too big on Elf for that. It's like a movie where it's like, I, I've only, I've watched it the maximum number of times I could stomach it. I can't watch it anymore. But I would definitely swap for your top two. Those were amazing picks. No, I, I personally love Elf. John Favreau, man, that guy in the early 2000s, he was on a run and just making hits and hits and hits. And that movie, it's on every Christmas, so it's like you can't avoid it. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, there's, I can't think of a better movie you'd want, like you wouldn't want to avoid, you know? Yeah. 
No. They, they weren't expecting it to be such a big hit, too. Mm. Oh, for sure. And even Will Ferrell's like, I'm, he's impressed with it to this day. They, they, everyone loves it. And th- when they see him, they want him to be the character, especially around this time of year. Okay. He said he's gotten into things for free, gotten into <laughs> people's houses, just because this time till mid-January, he, people see him as Elf. Oh, my God. Buddy the Elf. That's crazy. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> no, he's amazing. That I think the movie's amazing. It, honestly, your list is like a honorable mention top three list for me. <laughs> it's, so it's, like, it's a pretty elite list. I, yeah. Yeah. I wish yeah. I could kind of rewrite mine now. <laughs> you know, he's got me second guessing everything. <laughs> Low key though, like, yeah. But Bad Santa, another honorable mention. Oh I haven't seen that since it came out. You see number two? No. Oh, you're missing the out. The first one's actually funny as hell. I can't lie. I don't know the name of the little fat kid actor. Neither do I don't remember. But they went and got him as an adult for Bad Santa too, mm-hmm. and it's so good. And it came Little out like not too long ago. Right? Yeah, or like I say tw- that, but twenty. It might be like twenty twelve. <laughs> it's like twenty seventeen or yeah. something like that, if I'm not God mistaken. Damn. That's yeah. like six, seven years. ago. It's crazy ago. how like it doesn't feel I'm, like it. I'm though. sure, but I really like the, the rated R Christmas comedies. Always hit for me. Yeah. Like, the night before. I was just gonna mention that was the movie on yeah. my mind as yeah, I was night speaking, before. and you said the night before. Night before is a movie. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mackie. Seth, Seth Rogen, Rogen and who's the third uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. yeah, that movie. I was gonna has, say Robin. No, yeah, that movie has <laughs> a lot of heart to it. I, like I remember rewatching it, like, oh wow, this movie has heart. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. A rated R comedy, but it no. really hits. There's it, it, some it's type like, of because as we get older, we kind of lose touch with our friends. We, yeah, we, mm-hmm. we, some of us go towards work, some of us go towards more focus on family, and you really can't just spend the nights with your friends doing those wild things they used to do. <laughs> yeah, or, or you don't even. Give them the call. That's the yeah. sad thing. You yeah. lose that much touch, and then you look back on the moments when you see them in the obituary. Like, man, <laughs> we could have had those those so big those Kanye dark. moments, stepping on giant pianos. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen too many of my friends Ooh. in the obituary. So. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Moving on from rated R comedies, one more rated R comedy I want to shout out: Office Christmas Party, which I saw in theaters a long time ago. Office, Office Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Party. Party. Jason Bateman. Oh, yes. T.J. Miller. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Our, our I want to go rewatch that. I don't remember guy, it enough to like. The third ref point guy, Matthew, who's disappeared mysteriously, who is uh, totally not sick at home with a cold, but yes, he disappeared. Yeah, I'm a little upset, guys. <laughs> I'm getting fed up. <laughs> I don't blame you. Every time I come. Nope. But here's the thing. How do we know you're not Matthew in disguise? You've never been in the same room together. I haven't seen you side by side. It's true. Caught in 4K. The the gig's up. The gig's up. (laughs) Get his mask. The gig's up. (laughs) Right now, editor, just... just Get his mask. How do you know this is not the real person? Oh. And Matthew's the mask. Oh my god. That's Think why about the it. look like plastic. It Think adds about it up. <laughs> Matthew's all cleaned up all the time. It's always so neat and perfect and everything's like mm, I wouldn't meticulous. say perfect, but I get you. I get you. <laughs> that's why last I time. say perfect. All right? All right. And last then you I got me. me. <laughs> <laughs> last time I saw him, he's like, wait, I got to put on my face. I thought he was just joking. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyways. <laughs> just like a d- Mrs. Doubtfire has seen <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting at his house. <laughs> it's just Rose. Up. Yeah, 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 exactly. Anyway, I take out the trash, so but I don't want back in. Or Rose recently bought it on 4K, and he reminded me of that movie. And I'm like, huh, I haven't seen that movie in a while, but I remember enjoying it when I saw it in theaters. I don't think I think I watched it one more time after that, but another good rated R Christmas comedy. Yeah. So we're gonna talk, you know, a little bit about our sweaters. Um, I guess I'll give it a start. You know, Dungeons and Dragons. One of my most favorite games to play ever. I lo- what I love about it so much is that there is such insane creativity that I don't think a lot of people really grasp. Because if you think about it, it's like it's a game where you can do anything, like literally anything, and not everyone kind of thinks about that. They're trying to think like, how do I attack or how do I like get through to the story, you know? But in reality, it's like, if you just want to sit down and have a beer with, like, an orc or something, you can. You can have, like, a two- or three-hour conversation. And that that's what's really cool about me. There's that level of flexibility. And, you know, being as who I am with, like, continuity and, like, lore and shit, it's got a deep lore. And it, even though I haven't even begun to start learning it, I there's so much appreciation for it that it's, like, 
this came from the mind of like a group of people and it's something that's pretty much stuck throughout the years yeah you have your changes here and there but it's like the fact that it just stuck for basically 50 years at this point is insane what do you guys think of DD? i think it's like sims board game <laughs> Damn, a lot of people do like Sims though. I, yeah, no, that's why. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people that like I, I used to play Sims. I wasn't big, but like, it was, it was cool, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, you could do whatever. It gets creative. Or like, you guys remember Club Penguin? Yes, that it, I played. Oh my god, Club Penguin! It, it's like, it's like a a much more creative Club Penguin. Nah, Club Penguin better. Club Penguin is definitely better. Is. But here's the thing: D and D, you could play as a penguin. You could play as a penguin, but you you can't can play... I play as Club Penguin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Club Penguin. <laughs> Mr. Club Penguin himself. I met him. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Always well-dressed. <laughs> anyway. No, but it, it's it's fun when you, like... Uh, I, I play... I, we played together, and, like, mm -hmm. it was fun. I had a great time. Oh, yeah. You were But I see, stellar. like... I see how it would, like, scare some people. Mm -hmm. Like me. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, it, before you get into it, it could definitely scare people away because there is so much you can do. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Yeah. That's actually the best way to put it. Like, it's overwhelming at first, but once you kind of slowly ease into it, it's good. You you, you, you find it, a cult fan base that way, mm -hmm. you know, because like it's either you love it or you just don't touch it. Yeah. And like what there's like video games that are all like that. Like I don't what is it, Skyrim or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just like endless. It just keeps going and going and going. And like I feel like that's kind of the same idea. I don't. I feel like video games can never capture what D and D can do because mm -hmm. D and D For can sure. be limitless. Where, d with a video game, man, it, it sucks to be a programmer for games like that mm -hmm. because it's constant choices and constant. I guess AI branches. is making it easier. Yeah. Yeah, so but we uh, can a game develop its own like future <laughs> then then it takes over the a, world. A good D and D master or dungeon master ma that, who knows how to think on their feet is better than any AI because they're going to be making it uh, creative to the person that's in front of them. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. not going to make it to the perfect scenario. Yeah, Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. AI doesn't create that it only Actually, copies. good cool thing you bring that up because uh, like I'm running a D&D &D campaign with uh, some cousins and a friend and what I've been doing is doing smaller campaigns each based on uh, each person's character mm -hmm. so that then they can like get into the swing of things with like the role playing the combat and then something like i did with that was um one player really want to be introspective with his character so what i did as a twist for the first episode my well, episode like the first game mind you was i had everyone they returned as their characters uh they meet this like old decrepit goblin lady and she gives them all something to drink and then lights out they wake up and I told them, guys, get up and switch seats. So they play, they're play; they playing as their uh, each other's characters. <laughs> and I told them, it's going to stay like this until you figure out how to reverse it. You should have been writing for Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I have that level of um, good writing. <laughs> uh, have you seen the game show? No. It's out? Yeah. So they put out, like, uh, a Netflix put out season two. Okay. Or not season two, but like the the game show version, the live challenge, whatever. Okay. Um, did they kill people on camera? Or? No, no, but it's cool the way they did it. It's really well done. Um, it's as as bad as like it's reality TV at the same time. Like mm -hmm. all reality TV sucks. And it's yeah. Like that kind of scripted, kind of not whatever. It's it it's the same idea as like Big Brother and all these kinds of things. They put everybody in a house, make them argue, make them build alliances, and then. They have to play the game. But the show, the original Korean show, was actually the exact same idea. Mm -hmm. Which is just like, are, how far are people willing to actually lie to build a friendship to at one point kill that person? Can I do spoilers for the show or what? Because the season it. finale came out last week. I haven't seen this either of the shows. And if I would have watched them, I would have watched them. So go right ahead. What about you, me. Uncle Lou? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not interested in watching the reality. The, the other one... That's that's a different story. Okay. So uh, so there there was an old man in the show that was like an old English guy and everybody ended up loving him and he became part of like the brotherhood alliance with all like the tough guys and the cool guys and all that. Mm -hmm. And they got so far they ended up creating a group and all that. And then he gets eliminated and then the the whole show emphasis switches over to the old Asian lady. <laughs> the old Asian lady ends up winning everything. But she's like devious and she built friendships to the point where like 
She didn't care. Like she, okay. she played like, oh, this is my friend. This is my friend. Yeah, yeah, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. And then like, you get down to nine people, you're fighting for yourself. Yeah. There's four point five six million dollars on the line, and they spent like, and it's it's one of those Big Brother shows where yeah, you are actually living in a in a place with all these people. So the conditions are still pretty like unorthodox. You know, you're living in a massive room with four hundred other people. And then over time, it's just slowly dying out, and the room becomes more empty, more empty, and you start seeing like I don't know. The yeah, shows it's definitely like there's a psychological thing there. Exactly, too. and like the whole game, it they did every game from the actual show, and they added mm-hmm. some extra things because obviously you can't just kill people while they're sleeping like they did in the that game in the show. No. <laughs> Not when you're a big corporation. <laughs> I know. I was ho- I was wondering what was gonna happen when they. I was like, oh, is someone gonna like go over and just smack them in their sleep and like you're out? <laughs> Tag. Jesus Christ. But no, no, no. They did like tests, and it's where it was based on loyalty. The people had friendships, and then they would test their loyalty on that friendship, and it would be like, oh, you're killing your friend every time. So the show opened up your eyes, but like, mm-hmm. and the old guy was probably the strongest player, like smartest, strongest player, like in real life, probably would have made it the furthest. Just because of the way he is. Okay. And like the Asian, la- the the Asian lady in the show actually did that, and she played the game the exact same way. Like, oh, I'm just an, I'm just a soft old lady. And then there's ten people left, and she's like, ha ha, you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, like, it's funny because I did get that spoil on Twitter that she won because I heard that they still haven't paid her. Oh, actually. what? Yeah, it's, I, she was complaining about not getting paid yet. Oh, I'd award. be pissed too because like you screwed over all those people and you don't even get paid. Yeah, yeah, I'd be. Where's pissed her too. money, Netflix? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, Netflix, pay up, pay up, pay up. Pay up. We waiting. You're, you're able to like give rights away to be able to make sure it's like this. Pay up. Now, would you guys be able to participate in like a Squid Game type thing? Not the one where it's like the death, like obviously, probably not. But like, like for example, let's say this reality show came here and they're like, "Oh, we need players. Would you sign up?" Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I, I don't really know the intensity of these games, but, you know. It's, it, it, it's child games, right? Mm-hmm. Battleships. It, it Like, that's what they had in the TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Jack in the Box. I mean, red am light, gonna, green light. Like, am I going to, like, break an arm or a leg or something? No. It, let's do it then. I'm in. Honestly, yeah. Uh, like, you're not actually getting hurt in the show, so, like, why not? I don't know if I'd even be able to do it just because I know that there's going to be so many other people who really need the money. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I'd be able to have the stomach to, like, screw that person over. I or think like, I'm too nice of a guy to screw people over. Too yeah, much. so I would play it as straight as possible. But at the same time, I don't know if I'd even want to put myself in that situation to get that temptation. Because $4.56 million is a lot of f***ing money. There's a lot I wouldn't do for that money. It is, but see... (laughs) I would do, I mean... (laughs) Now, if it was life or death, would you do it for $4.56 million? No, my life's not worth that much. For death? Yeah. 15 bucks, maybe, but... (laughs) Mm. Ah, That's been two years. (laughs) what What about $456 million? I don't know. But like... That's like generational. It is. It is, but at the same time, you know what else is generational? Your bloodline ending with you. (laughs) I mean, Hmm. you know, you could be that family everybody talks about, or you could be that guy. Then a lot of people are gonna try to ride my talks about. (laughs) You'd be like, oh yeah, he's the guy who moved on red and got shot in the head. But, but like, but if you wait, you know how many people are going to come to me asking for favors? Like, hey, you, I know you got money now, so can you do this and that? It's like, you want to be that guy? I mean, $456 million. You can almost pay people 20 grand to shut up. That's true. It's like in uh, Trailer Park you- Boys where he's like, I'm going to pay you 100 bucks to f*** off. Yeah, you know, like, literally. At that point, it's like, here's two grand, bye. That's true. And if you really like them, it's like more, you know. Think about how much money I would blow within like two months. Oh my god, you're, you're literally gonna buy the first Spider Man. <laughs> you, I, I know it. I know I would buy Marvel Studios. <laughs> it's easy to spend that much. I, I would buy Spider Man himself. <laughs> the rights to it. Me, Michael Jackson over here. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can blow a billion dollars if they want to. You can do mm-hmm. anything. Um, I think it's much better to like. Spread it amongst the people, especially that much. Yeah, that I agree. That's why I go straight to like generational. Like, it's not even like about my 
family it's like i'll give to my cousin so their whole family's fine like this mm -hmm. section's all okay this side's all okay and everyone's covered yeah i definitely yeah. do like a, ch a nice chunk to charities too because like 100%. at the end of the day even it's like even a hundred million yeah it's not going to really put a big dent you in your pocket your own charities with that much. yeah you know you start your own foundations you, 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 there's a lot you could do with that rose is supporting his family he's a real family guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not you got him but no i think uh if i was on the game though if i was in top five i'd try and convince everybody to like split the money like guys, we stand amongst each other. We're not playing the rest of the games, and let's split the money. But here's and the there's thing: there's gonna be that one guy who you're not gonna. Convince. Here, yeah, yeah, could you? Could, if I'm with Rose, I'm saying okay, Rose, and then I'm so, turning on you. I, think yeah, that's, I was gonna you say, like, could you How truly you, trust anyone that because, much? Yeah, because like, what if it, we just learned you were what math you just ten minutes ago? What if you strike? You just strike. So you're not playing the game. Everyone just stands and sits there. They don't have a show. I don't know. I think they're going to then do something to really up it up. So they're going to maybe increase the money. They're going to actually introduce death. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, Rose. I'm, I'm taking home the money. <laughs> <laughs> the Netflix executives are going to be like, hey, Rose, can you see us in our office, please? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it just plays out like and, Goodfellas. And, 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 it's like Joe Pesci and Goodfellas. He goes into an empty room. Oh, no. Boom. This sounds like my high school all over again. I'll buy us an island to buy our friend trip back, okay? Okay. Nice. Respect. Okay. It's like Mr. Beast and his friends. God yeah. <laughs> Let me just buy my friends. <laughs> so who'd like to go next? X-Men versus Batman. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new X-Men. The animated 97 coming out okay. on Disney. I, I'm on my toes. Man. I, I can't wait for it to come out. The way they ended it back when we were kids, it was horrible. Especially the animation style dropped, and hopefully they come back with a strong and mm -hmm. great, like we, we all know and love. Mm -hmm. with Rose, have I'd you like, seen the X-Men show? I wasn't a big fan of it. <gasps> How could you say that? I was Spider-Man, dog. I didn't have time for X-Men. That killer they they in intro? It's stellar. I know it. I, I would probably watch it if they come out with a new one. They are. <laughs> a new like animated yeah, yeah that's what they're doing X-Men 97 what? they are yes yeah. that's what I'm they're following about. up that show because that show I haven't seen it here's the thing if that's successful they, they if they follow up the thing. animated Spider-Man that okay. show ended up on a cliffhanger too yeah mm -hmm. yeah and they never solved it on a worse cliffhanger than X-Men yeah. yeah and yeah but a lot of Spider-Man shows but ended on great, cliffhangers but I don't know I'm a, I was still happy with it <laughs> I know it's a big cliffhanger but I'm still happy yeah that's fair like I'm okay with it I'm not upset yeah. Whereas I feel like you actually are upset with the way they ended X Men. Well, yeah, because X Men. They also I remember hearing. I, I haven't seen it like fully. Mm -hmm. I watched the first two seasons and then I kind of just stopped for some reason. Don't know why. But I heard like the last two seasons they cut the budget, so it started mm -hmm. looking like worse and worse. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. just and, and then just ended on the, the, the the voice acting. You know when the the voice. The animation's moving. Yeah. And the voices aren't really matching up. Started and, getting sloppy. And yeah. You can see it in. The first few seasons, Beast is saying like see, these soliloquies and po poems, almost uh, mm -hmm. these uh, sayings from great scholars. Yeah. In the later seasons, he's kind of just saying like these one-off things <laughs> that people just say like. A well, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. So they're not making, they're not putting as much effort into not only the animation but also the writing uh, it, it, okay, it kind of went really downhill yeah that's that's now they got that disney money and we're making it back see whereas like i feel like you know the the season the six like the towards the end of spider-man like that was like some of the peak episodes where like that's the when they did episode. secret wars and yeah, whatnot, yeah, right? yeah yeah that exactly. i've seen like that was peak so i was i don't know i'm happy nice. i get you yeah. have you guys seen any of the other x-men animated shows uh, oh yeah, I the saw the. An I, I watched the animated one, or not the an not the animated. <laughs> They're all animated. <laughs> the <laughs> anime, anime, the anime style. Oh yeah, that one. I the, uh, the the ones where they're to the the team ups, right? I think so. Okay, I, yeah. it was a while ago. I remember mm -hmm. watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Amazon had Wolverine like Wolverine in the X Men. That's that really one's good. good. Steve yeah. Bloom as Wolverine, incredible casting. I love yeah. Oh yeah, it's a great cast. X Men Evolution. You have uh, seen it? No, amazing. I so haven't early seen 2000s, it. Uh, it's, it's a classic. It's a great adaptation of taking a bunch of the characters, make them younger, and they're like two frat houses going against each other yeah. in the high school. Okay, okay. They're, they're all going to the same high school, and you got Magneto's team. It's kind of like they took 
uh, the early 2000s X-Men and then made them a little bit younger and then mm-hmm. sent them as like principals of two different schools and frat houses. It's okay, very, cool. really weird, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It but, it, but it works. Like take take our word for it. It works. Yeah, okay, it's like okay, a cool okay, okay, I'll give like, it a chance. Okay. <laughs> it's like very like Buffy the Vampire Slayer inspired and stuff. Oh. Like, I like it literally I think even trace some scenes. I like Teen Titans. That was a great show. Yeah, Teen Titans. I Titan love that solid. show. Except I haven't watched it in years. Like, oh my Literally god. Literally, since it was playing on like YTV and stuff like in, that. Like, 2005 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's something I'm. I'm is this new series? I'm a fan out? of like With, uh, the HBO. Or? Yeah, Batman Cape Crusader, which Warner Brothers canceled for a little bit because they have about six dollars for your name right now, and they're trying to recoup costs. Mm-hmm. But Amazon picked it up, and it says Holy next year we're gonna. It's airing. Okay. It's <laughs> produced by Matt Reeves, who did the Batman movie, J.J. Mm. Abrams, mm. and Bruce Timm, who did Batman the Animated Series. Holy in 90- shit. Oh. Okay, cool. That's you guys cool. seen that show? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Superman yeah, animated cool. series. Don't don't it's, miss that. That's that, that, one, did that, that, one, that one's not as good as Batman, but it's still good. It's, but it's, yeah, no, the it's Batman so good. Was like but that show, sick. Yeah. they said it was going to come out this year, then Warner Brothers... Was well, the writer strike that kind of also... Yeah, over. and then they kind of... So, like, next year, they said it's coming out. I'm hyped. We don't know who's voicing Batman. Everyone assumed it was Kevin Conroy, but sadly passed away. Yeah. Mm. So, who's it gonna be? You know. That was like losing like um, like an uncle or a grandfather. It was like someone losing someone really close to home. No, he, he's like it, what an iconic he, voice he brought to the character. If you ever had been to a con and he was there, mm-hmm. he was such a delight to talk yeah, to. Yeah, I heard. He was, it was like you said. He was like a meeting a, an uncle or family member. He was share stories, stories mm-hmm. that you had never heard before. He, mm-hmm. You just and you would grab grab you and just be like, pull you in more. And be like, no, no, stay. Let me talk. Continue talking to you. His manager would be like, no, we we got people. We got mon- money to make. Come on, next one, next one. He's like, no, no, no. I want to talk to this person. Yeah, and really he'll give cool. you an I am the night. Yeah. You know. That's oh cool. my God! It just uh, goosebumps. Yeah, that's I cool. Mean, his last performance of Batman is now confirmed to be uh, Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, guys, you guys are big gamers. Yeah. Or, yeah. Eh, I used to be. No, no I don't have PS5. I heard that game is uh, not going to be the best. I honestly, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm. Uh, te- I'll comment on it. Who cares? I didn't get it. But the beta came out, and technically, people signed NDAs and weren't supposed to talk about it. I didn't sign anything. I didn't get a beta code. But people who played it told me it was actually like good. Like you're saying, like it's actually a really fun, great game, and everyone thought it looked like. Okay. Shit, but apparently, it's good. It's a follow-up to Arkham Knight. Did you guys have you guys played that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was really? Cool. I didn't know it was. It is because they sh- a new trailer came out same night as the video game awards, and they show there's a boss battle that you fight Nightmare Batman from the end of that game. Mm-hmm. You know him with the scarecrow toxin. Yeah. Spoiler for Arkham Knight. Said that should have said that maybe five seconds ago, but that's one of the boss battles. And I'm like, huh? Okay, cool. Like we're getting a follow-up that I didn't know I needed, but yeah. apparently the game's good. I saw a leaked cutscene on TikTok too, and it looks. <laughs> It looks cool, like, the Just League, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about what I saw, but, like, it's cool stuff, Speak, man. speak, 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 <laughs> speak. <laughs> can't just... break the NDA I didn't sign, you know? I mean... <laughs> well, we spoke a little bit about Batman already, but let's continue. Well, let's yeah, hear yeah, from yeah. you. Have you watched the animated series, Paul? Uh, I've seen literally episodes here and there, and that's it. I haven't sat down to fully uh, watch Rose, it. Rose, come on, you watch cartoons. I know you've seen it. Yeah. Batman the animated series. Yeah, yeah. Watch it all? Yeah. I got like four episodes left on Netflix. I watch it on my way to work like every day. I, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Like, not every day, but yeah. Got, got uh, cut. Because like. they cut it and then they turned it into a new show. Yeah. It's like oh, the new Batman, Batman Adventures. Yeah. yeah the, new, the what? The, ba- the Adventures of Batman and Robin. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh I didn't watch that. that. I didn't watch that. No, it's, it's no, part of the animated series. It's under the, the same last Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so then I might have watched it it's not even they known? changed to how the Joker and the animated style and t- yeah. Uh, was oh. Even Batman had a different costume. Yeah, it, got, it got bad. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, it didn't get bad. The animation, I didn't like any of the designs for that. But the, sh- the writing was always like great. So, but it's just, they change the designs and it just pisses you off. In some ways, because the Scarecrow got scarier and looked yeah. better. Like, there's an episode where Batgirl dies. Yeah. And scare, you see Scarecrow's face for that one episode and it's, he's scary. He goes from w- looking like he has a bag over his head with a, uh, a noose his neck, yeah. to this uh, darkness, shadowy, <laughs> Scarecrow-looking face yeah. with... I don't know what's coming out of his eyes and stuff, but it, w- it looks scary. But for yeah. every good design, you get a bad design. Like Catwoman goes from like that cool gray costume. 
like just a weird where like her skin is almost blue and stuff like it's a yeah. weird costume i didn't like yeah, at all skin tones changed everything yeah changed. yeah there was what else i about that show very bad but it was like the same show <coughs> but slightly different and i never really i think it was something to do with rights and that maybe they got to pay less royalties if they change it up a bit but like, i'm like a marvel guy so like yeah i'll watch batman but like me the, the first season, I'm sorry. Though, I'm sorry. Was so well Fair. Was so I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. You know? There's a lot of, like, I just watched the episode where Batman, there's, like, a cyborg Batman, and it's so sick. I like cyborg. Not, not, not no, cyborg. I know, but I, I, know, but I like cyborg. The episode where it's, like, a robot, and they're He all... thinks he's Batman, like uh, he act, and he truly believes it. So good. It's actually, like, a sick episode. Okay. Like, I don't remember a lot of... I remember Mr. Freeze. It, That's first, a good one, too. I Cold love... Cold yeah, love the Mr. Origin. Freeze. Love the, the Mr. Freeze. Is available on Netflix. Yeah, that's where I'm watching. Fair. Well, I also have the Blu-rays, but like, there's yeah. also a lot of Batman's on Amazon. Yeah, because they just got it's all the, the serials, rights. right? I I think Amazon just bought all the rights for like all the Batman stuff. Okay, that's why they put it all there. Yeah, Warner's there's and... they're missing episodes though. <coughs> like, I don't know. The other day, I remember I was watching and I clicked one, and then I couldn't watch the episode after, but I could watch the one after that. That is so weird. And I was like, oh, that's. Oh, is it because pretty... maybe you have to like pay for one of them? I've noticed. No, that. no, no. It was just missing. Like it went thirteen. 15. Huh. Okay. This is, no, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say my point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, they do remove a lot of episodes, but usually when they do that, it's because of like, there's maybe something racist in it. A hundred percent. But I'm like, yeah, then just like. Ooh. DVDs and Blu-rays are Sucks. A hundred percent. Or your racist <laughs> episodes, these DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting tired of sh- uh, shows being changed, things being removed, and with. Not, us not really being able to have the option to go back and see the original version of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just this adding and but making the choice for us of what is right for us to view. But it, it's also like you're never going to learn from your mistakes of the past if you're just erasing mm-hmm. them. That's my. That's always been my biggest I mean, concern. Warner Brothers did it perfectly with the Looney Tunes. Yeah. Where at the I remember on the VHS tapes, they would uh, show like, you know, this these cartoons come from an outdated time. The mm-hmm. depictions here are offensive, but it would be like an injustice to kind of... On the Golden Remove Collection, it. they do it at the beginning with Whoopi Goldberg. Mm. She, 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 she gives a little presentation and says that like, okay. they, uh, these yeah. things were made at a different time and they do not depict the overall... They're not uh, accurate depictions is what it says. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. of the studio's views. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's also people being oversensitive, like, for example, or taking things out of context, like the D&D episode for Community. Yeah. yeah. Like, Chang was just a drow. That's all he was. He wasn't doing blackface, and they make fun of the fact that he looks weird because he looks that like he's, that he's doing, basically doing yeah. blackface. Like they make fun yeah. of it. like, why? Why are we tolerating this? Like she says, surely in the episode. Yeah, exactly. And then there's it, the it's always sunny, <laughs> like Lethal Weapon episodes yeah. where Mac does blackface, and they specifically tell him like, what's wrong with you? I, oh my god. Yeah. No, it's just yeah, you it should sucks. be allowed to talk about it so at least that way people understand why mm-hmm. but that's or like it. can see that it's not right like yeah just completely hiding things from everyone is just a little stupid mm-hmm. you know but I just want right. to know what was racist in the Batman show <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean like, yeah I know 100% maybe I'm especially just like cartoons it's like yeah. what did you guys do <laughs> how did you draw this character yeah yeah like, what was in there like, <laughs> maybe it deserved to get cut who knows <laughs> yeah oh yeah. boys Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, my friends. Happy Festivus. My recommend- <laughs> A Festivus for the rest of us. My A recommendation Festivus. for this Christmas, guys, everyone puts on Christmas with the Joker. Okay. Oh, yeah. We Batman watched the that. series. Great okay. episode. You know, got to rip Batman. Okay. Christmas <laughs> episode. Okay. Love it. Everyone should watch it. Any yeah, episode two, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. It, it, the order is kind of weird for the show because they release it on the Blu-ray in a different order than like it aired or something. So. Is it in chronological order? I have. It doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> they I think really it's episode two on Netflix. Just check it They're out. They're all episodic, anyways. Like unless it's a part okay. one and two. So that's it. Like it. Okay, so now you need to stand up and show off your sweatshirts. <laughs> yeah. Give us a, give us a little spin. Your spin. Show us the back. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. I like it. I like it. Now let's see you. Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. Oh. Wait, that's not a twirl. That's a standstill. Let's see you spin, baby. Okay. Yeah. You know Rose and Uncle Lou. Your guys are going to have to do it too. No, no, no. I'll give dances. I'll give dances. I want to see this. Hit your best move right now. Hit the gritty. Details, which is sick. That's why I wanted to see y'all spin. Yo, I love your little people there. 
Ooh. I'll shake my hips, dude. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh, you, you put in them hips. Louis, let's Those see hips do not hips. lie, bro. Yeah, I got all my characters. Hell oh. yeah. Oh, I yeah, see that's Beast, cool. oh, Cyclops. That is cool. I do see all that. Jubilee. Yo, Jubilee. Underrated character. Love Jubilee. <laughs> Don't we have like three or four of her first appearances? Wolverine Maybe. Is on, like, my ass. Yeah, they put Wolverine <laughs> on the ass. No offense, but Cyclops deserves to be. Well, like, Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou. It's because we all know we'll be staring. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where everyone's looking, you know, so. And uh, that's the show. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow us on social media at RefPoint Podcast. And uh, Rose, Uncle Lou, anything you'd like to plug? Merry Christmas. Burt Belicious is out now. Uh, family's out. Don't Choose out on YouTube. Y'all go watch the videos. And thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Of course. Uncle I listened Lou? to that album. It's straight heat, guys. Go give it a listen. It's uh, incredible. I'm vibing at work with it. And don't miss out on the other episodes that these guys have because I, I sit back and enjoy them quite often. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. We, we're happy to have you guys on the show. You're both two great guys. Thank you. Thank you. Always that's get to have Matthew on the show. <laughs> exactly. And that's the show. And guys, do not forget to support your local comic book stores. Now! Oh! <laughs> Hello, esteemed viewers and social media followers. I'm Paulo from the Reference Point Podcast! <laughs> 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 At least we got great B-roll footage. <laughs> <laughs>